you ICR. All right, now I turn the mic on. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to uh, what's this? What do we call our show? I think we're here? gonna call it the morning pickup. All right, welcome to the morning pickup. I'm Brian Walsh oh. with Spring Like the Season and Jay. Oh, I didn't have so to introduce th- myself. Yeah, mm-hmm. or you're the other Jay, right? I'm the second Jay. Second Jay. Second Jay. So uh, today's the first day of fall. Oh, that's right. I have my fall boots on, guys. It's broken, oh. but hey, oh, <laughs> if you can't see it, they're brown. I'll move so that. They're Jay's brown, the like mm-hmm. almost knee high boots. Yeah, I really don't have a fall outfit. And no, you're yeah. kind of fallish. You're wearing the kind. I'm wearing like pants. Button down and pants, pants and sneakers. That sounds yeah. about right, right? I mean, normally during the fall, I wear a sweatshirt, and uh, it's too hot for that. So I kind of need to like mm. pull fall aside and talk to him, like, hey, yeah. you just like bring it down like 10 degrees. That really <laughs> just it's a little freezing bit. this morning. It was like yeah. 50 degrees when I came outside. Yeah, uh, I mean, I walked in my bathroom, the window was open, I felt a breeze, and that was cold. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> what Come out of the shower, it's like, ugh, what a so visual. cold, you like, burr. Yeah. Um, uh, so, yesterday, in uh, pop culture news, was the 10-year anniversary of the show Lost starting, what? and the 20-year wow. anniversary of Friends. I feel so, so wow. old, because I remember watching Lost. Yeah, my roommate Actually, is... Actually, I've never seen an episode of Lost. My roommate is obsessed with both shows. Uh, he's been trying to get me to watch all of Lost, but... Uh, Wait, one... you know how it ends, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but uh, the funny thing is, one weekend I go to visit my brother at his school, and while I'm gone, him and my other roommate binge watch like three seasons while I'm gone, and I'm kind of, I come back and I... And I just figured I can't watch it anymore because mm. I can't binge watch three seasons in two days. Yes, you can, Brian. You can do I, anything. I've binge watched all. I've binge watched all five seasons in a summer, like within a month. Yes, that's. But that's you, when I, I had should free introduce time. you to my roommate because <laughs> that's what he does. You never have to leave. This is when I had time. Now yeah. I haven't binge watched anything since Breaking Bad, which I'm very disappointed about because I still haven't even finished. I'm the disappointed whole series. in you. It's ridiculous. You know what happened? All of a sudden, I got busy with doing a paper and I just fell off. Like I was doing so well with keeping up with the seasons and whatnot, and I'm literally, I think, was it season five? That's it only has five seasons, right? Yeah. I think I was in the middle of season five. Like season five only has ten episodes. No, it's I, two parts. Yeah. It's oh, it the is. First part yeah. of season five. It's part A, part B. So you're probably... Also, it's not that bad. I mean, it's kind of bad, but it's not that bad. Do you think I should just restart everything? Don't restart it. Just finish it. I'm disappointed in you as we speak, because you could have finished it. I know I could have finished it. But then someone ruined for me that Hank dies, so... Oh. Oh! Oh, Sorry, Joe. (laughs) We have Joe in the other room. Wow, why would you say that? that? I am so sorry, Joe. anyone listening... I didn't know. (laughs) Oh my God! Uh, can Joe's I just, gonna leave? Go home can I just, just leave in like, the middle? Why? I knew, I knew it happened, but I, f- oh, I'm sorry. Can I just see if I'm so sorry? <laughs> Look at his face. I'm, I'm, why am I here? Were you actually watching it? I am so he sorry. Said I am the worst. Uh, yeah. the worst. Don't just take your friendship card away. I think I'm just gonna leave the show right now. <laughs> I, I resign. <laughs> can you imagine? That'd be ridiculous. All right, Brian. What else you have? So uh, over the weekend, there was those climate change protests in the city. I know. I, I heard for like was over there. 300,000 people went. Is that an actual number? Yeah, a lot of somewhere people. up there. 300,000. How much? How much? 300,000. Well, that's what I heard. 300,000. It could have been 300,000 one if I went. Because I was going to go. But, but that's an exact number. Yeah, I don't I'm know. Just, that's just, I know, sounds, just that's like, a lot I think of people. That's where was really it like In the city, everyone just in met up. Yeah, yeah, in New York City. It was all well, around like weird, America. Like I didn't know people who go somewhere in yeah, Pennsylvania. People, I think other people that, from yeah. other states came too. Yeah. Well, I knew one friend that I haven't seen since freshman year. She came back and I was like, oh, why you can't i thought she came like to see me for my birthday i was like what yeah it was my birthday weekend oh uh, yeah jay is birthday. finally 22 do we have that Woo-hoo! song oh, i have. can get the song for you jay, yeah. <laughs> jay turned 22 we're, we're on gonna friday. play we're gonna play it on friday we should play it on friday but anyway happy birthday enough, thank you enough about me what i know i'm sorry they're like talking about the news but since there's no serious news yet there's this app called cuddler and it's a real app for smoothing, like spooning with random strangers, which I don't know how like safe that is, but I guess it's don't like say. the cuter version of Tinder. And I just mm-hmm. got really excited. I don't know why. I, just mm-hmm. got really excited. I, don't, I don't like that. So you're saying I have a chance? You have a chance to be cuddled, Brian. I know it's getting cold. You might want someone to keep you warm. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, 
<laughs> Isn't this what they call cuffing season? Isn't this that is cuffing season. Ooh. For those of you people who don't know what cuffing season is, that means you find a significant other in about two months because cuffing season officially... Be- well, it's it's the pre-cuffing season right now. Cuffy season officially begins like in December, right? November, December. I guess. No, that's wait, when you're supposed to have a you person want, yeah, you for have the winter to. months and then you just break it off with them in the summer because now you're a free agent. That's how cuffing season is. Kind of like hibernation. Mm-hmm. So any person weird. you were talking to before the summer, start calling them up because it's about that time to like say, hey, hey Brian's here. Hey, let me check my <laughs> contacts. Oh, well, wait. I wouldn't text because then it wouldn't like... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Across my I want to talk about Cuddler yeah. real quick just because I'm actually reading this right now. All right, so Cuddler is a location based app that finds people in the immediate vicinity who are game for a strictly platonic cuddle. This is literally Tinder, but cuddling. So, you have, if you approve one another within a 15 minute window, then you can send a message about where to meet up and then see real time walking directions of where the other person is as they approach you. So, I could cuddle you in the street. Just give you a nice hug. Yeah, but it's too cold for that. That's, that that's, that's why you're cuddling. Yeah, but and it's not I'll supposed do- to be for any sexual relations. And then some people are asking, is this a fun level of cheating? I mean, I don't know. Do you that think cuddling is cheating? Creepy. I well, so. unless it escalates. Right, yeah, unless it escalates to Tinder. <laughs> I guess so. Hold on, you get real-time directions on where to find people? Yeah, it, I guess, as, like, let's say Jay and I, we're both on Cuddler, and we approve my, of each other. Yeah, my my service would be, like, waiting. I'm like, where is she coming? And she's like, she left me. That's not funny. <laughs> I'm really bad with directions. I don't know if that's... If you have Verizon, I've got the that's best creepy. service. <laughs> and either way, so I guess if we're walking yeah. towards each other, I guess there are probably two moving dots. I'm going to assume that's yeah. what it means. But either way, if this is a who, real app, that is crazy. It. It's not the same people from Tinder, dev- Tinder. It can't be the same people. Why would... No, we could it be. It could be. A lot of people don't. It actually doesn't say. Oh. Uh. Yeah, right. sorry, doesn't say. I could, we'll probably Meow. find out later. Meow. Oh, founder Charlie Williams. Ah, I have that this is this is what he says. He goes, I cut. I'm gonna read it in a different voice. Yeah. A cuddle is longer than a hug, but shorter than a date. So you're not faced with having to sit through a drink or two. If you've decided <laughs> someone isn't for you, you can politely end a cuddle anytime. <laughs> Oh, God. People uninterested in dating, whether because they're already in a relationship or not pursuing relationship, will enjoy having a way to experience a connection with someone without any pressure to dress up, find an activity, exchange numbers, or even see each other again. I, but cuddling is kind of really intimate. It is yeah. intimate. I can't I, that's in, like, cuddle with a stranger unless I'm under the influence of, like... But this is like, like a, a this is like a yes or no, like, if I want to cuddle with you, right? They could always say no, right? Like yeah, Tinder? I so. yeah, I guess you yeah. just swipe to the... What, what is it in Tinder? You swipe I don't, to I don't know. I've right. never used Tinder. I've never used it either. Okay, you? just yeah. let's just no for right and yes for left. Let's just say that. Let's well, either way, up. guys, now you could cuddle strangers, so cuffing season just made easy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if with that you want to go to a quick break before you go to some actual serious news. Uh, yeah. And don't forget the tagline because Jay and I are here too. <laughs> I'm just messing with him. One thing. I don't, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. I actually was listening to that. Like, I went to the bathroom because I was, like, making a phone call.